Okay, class. Uh, today we'll look at uh, plate and shell element problem, and here we'll use the essence to model a flower vase. And Joe me sure the vase has been given here, and we're assuming the vase has a uniform thickness of four millimeter. And this is a key information. If it's not uniform, then we cannot use plate and shell element to model it. Or if it's the thickness is not uniform, then you need to turn to 3D elasticity. Uh, which will uh, cost more computation time. Okay, so the boundary, uh, the material given here is glass. The boundary condition is we fix the bottom and put water into it, and the height of the water is 180 millimeter or 100 millimeter below the top surface. Okay, uh, there are five points are given to help us draw the geometry A, B, C, D, E. I will use that to uh, in space claim to draw the vase. So now let's go to essence workbench. Here we'll first generate a new project, and we will use static structure to create the project. And here we change engine engineering data. Click into engineering data and create a new material. It's called a glass. Enter isotropic elasticity material. So here we'll input 70 e to 9, which is GPA uh, Poisson ratio point 17. Okay, so once the glass has been defined, we close it, single click on geometry, make sure that the surface bodies has been chosen because this is a Play the shell element, the surface body function has to be enabled. That here has been done. And analysis type is 3D, so make sure that 3D has been enabled. With that information, double click geometry, which will launch space claim. Here we are, so in the working region, right click, select the new sketch plane. Uh, see, I want to use the XY, so as it's in XY, left click, and then use plane view. Here you can start uh, draw the geometry. Before doing that, I want to set the unit, space claim options. Unit. Units millimeter. That's the thing we don't want. And here I want to use 10 millimeter because the smallest uh, element is 10 millimeter. Okay, with that, and then we start uh, sketching. So we sketch the point first. Let's zoom in a little bit to sketch the point. Uh, to help us to sketch the point, what we do is we'll use the coordinate and in the option sketch. Under dimensions, click on Cartesian dimension, which will help us locate the point we want to draw. We want to draw. Start from origin, and the first point we want to draw is uh, 50 millimeter along x and zero. This is the first point, which is A. Point A. So have double check. If you click on A, so. See what do we have? The 50 zero, yes. Okay, this is a 50 zero, and we have point created here, and then we move to point B. Point B, let's see, is 90 40. 90 40. Okay, let's reconnect it, make sure that uh, we have the license. All right, now come back to go to point B. Point B, we start from the origin, the, this is a coordinate, which is 90, 40. 90, and then 40, point, point B. Okay, if you look at this structure panel, we have a second point created, and then 
you move to the point to is 90 40 okay which is right and third point is 60 one, 120 60 120 60 120 okay and then escape uh, one more point d 40 180 40 100 180 40 180 okay make sure it's right and then click on it you get one more point and they escape and then last point last point is 80 200 uh 80 280 280 is quite a large number so I try to zoom in a little bit uh click on quotation start from the origin which is 80 we'll move to 80 and then 280 80 280 and I click I'll get one more point okay so uh, I will select I choose select to make sure that to double check all the points we have okay so uh, let me see Okay, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now the next step is to sketch the lines. So at first, I want to sketch a line at the bottom, so which is start from origin. Click origin, and then to point A. Okay, so now we will have the the bottom of the vest. And click escape and then come back to choose another function it's called spline spline is connect uh will connect the the point we have generate a curve so start from point a click on a b c d e all right now we have it move it a little bit up uh, so now we have all these lines next step is we will uh, make a 3d dimension like what we do is we will let the curve we generate two two lines one line one spline and then we will revolve around the y direction by uh, 360 degrees and we'll generate a 3d dimension so to do that the function we use is a pull I click a pull and control click two lines spline and the bottom line so once we have these two lines next step is we choose the the revolve center click on this revolve and then choose y as the center and then next step is click the four pole so revolve 360 degree and then we'll generate a surface so you will see the surface here i'll we'll choose select and look at the geometry and the surface we want to assign thickness to it which is a four millimeter okay now we, we have it we have it we have this surface and before leaving this geometry I want to do one more thing is go to go to the matter tab and click on normal and then click on the surface we generated and it will show that the surface is defined as from outside to inside because the normal direction is going to inside here what I want to do is I will right click the reverse face normal and to let it point outside this will be used for when you apply boundary condition to it because depends on the, how you define a normal so it will name the surface inside so if it's point outside the inside the surface will be bottom and out of the surface will be called top if the point inside then the, uh, you need to do the otherwise top and bottom definition okay I will click on bottom see that and make sure that the point outside and that means inside will be bottom outside will be top for the surface so with all this define a control S to save it design 4 okay and close it 
and move back to model double click on model which will lead to mechanical modeler Now it's loading geometry. Okay, now we have the geometry loaded. So the first step is go to geometry, find the surface, uh, change the assigned material to glass. Okay, so once the glass has been assigned, and then go to mesh. So here we'll insert sizing. Here we'll define the sizing as oh first we. Uh, choose the geometry we want mesh so let's see the surface filter has been chosen so we can choose a one surface and then control select another surface so we have two surfaces selected and then apply okay the element size we want, want to use is let's 0.005 Okay, after that, generate mesh. Okay. Now we have this vials meshed. The mesh size looks good. And then we go to static structure to assign bonding condition. The first bonding condition we want to assign is a fixed support, which will be applied to the bottom. And the filter we want uses a surface, we choose the bottom surface, apply. And then static structure insert hydrostatic pressure. So we, we put water inside. And here we want to apply this to two surfaces, bottom and the side surface. So we Control select one surface and then control select second one. We have two surfaces selected. Look at the bottom and then apply. And the the shell surface we want to apply is here want to use the bottom. Because the surface normal is upon the outside, so that means inside is the bottom. The fluid we want to use is water, it's 1000 kilometer, a uh, kilogram per cubic meter. Hydrostatic acceleration, that means gravity is along y direction, I'll use component, y direction is 9.8. And water surface, free surface of water is uh, 0.18 meter. Okay, so you will see that it has been applied, the water pressure has been applied on it. And then go to solution, insert deformation, I will use total deformation, and then insert stress, I will use volumizes stress, effective stress. Okay, and then now we have this two chosen. Right click solution solve. Although the, the mesh size is very small, it will not take a uh, very long time because we are using uh, shell element. All right, that's the result we have. So you can check this total deformation. You will look at the deformation. The maximum deformation is around the bottom area. Uh, well, you can delete the mesh and only show 
the color. That's what you will see. Okay, and then you can check the stress. Again, the maximum stress will show up at the bottom, at the edge, uh, where the two surfaces connected. All right, that's all we have for today, and we'll stop here.